Assalamu alaikum. Hi everyone. This is the first video of a video series on the new topic that is called the finite state machines. Before going deeper into the topic, it is essential to understand the difference between combinational logic and sequential logic. For that purpose, here I bring two typical devices or appliance to generally explain the concept of combinational logic and sequential logic. So the de device are the weighing scale, or sometimes we call it as weight scale, and the QT cat machines. Um, surely my drawing is not the best in the world, but I hope that you can understand these two sketch. All right, suppose that the display number is the output for the weighting scale and the ticket number is the output of the Q ticket machines. Okay, first let's consider the weighing scale. The output of the weighing scale only depends on the input, that is, the weight of the person that stepped um, on the scale. The weighing scale does not require the information of the weight of the previous user. In other words, the present output of the weighing scale does not require the history of the output. All right, let, now let's turn our attention to these Q ticket machines. Um, in order for a ticket to be printed, someone needs to push this button, uh, which means these push buttons is the input and the printed number on the ticket is the output. Um, however, the present number on, uh, that is printed on the ticket, the present number that should be printed on the ticket not only depends on the push buttons but also depends on the previous number. If the last number is 007, apparently the present number should be 008. So again, we can define that the combinational logic is the type of logic circuit whose output depends on the present inputs only. Whereas the sequ for sequential logic, the type uh, sequ sequential logic is the type of logic circuit whose output depends on the present input um, and the previous output in the sequence. All right, to further explain the concepts for a uh, combinational logic and sequential logic, imagine that we have a circuit like this that I draw in this uh, empty, I, I will draw in this empty box. Okay, let's say we have um, this set of inputs and this set of outputs. Um, first, let me change the color. Okay, um, let's call the set of input as X and the set of outputs as Y. So, uh, for combinational logic, to realize an output, we um, will normally use some basic gates like this and sometimes XOR gate, you know, and some inverter. This is just an example. And sometimes we can also use the um, uh, MSI devices like decoder or multiplexer. So in this regard, the relationship between the output and the input is um, straightforwardly, the output is the function of the input. Okay, for sequential logic, on the other hand, um, we also have this set of input, let's call it as X, and this set of output as Y. Okay, but as I mentioned just now, uh, the output requires not only the inputs for the sequential logic, but it also needs the information of the um, previous output. So this sequential logic requires um, like 
the information storage devices usually the flip-flops so let's say we have a few flip-flop in this block okay the output of the flip-flop is called the uh, states so state is like the intermediate output before we have the final output but in some cases state is equals to output like we have in the counter system okay since the uh, output required information of the previous output so this flip-flop um, acts like a information storage device in information storage device in which the output need to be feedback as the input of the flip-flop and they can be uh, like cross connection between the multiple flip-flops so we can also have some um, sorry let me make it better we can also have some uh, logic gates and then the output of the flip-flop it can be recycled and fit into some gates here and combine with the existing input not for example like this this go to here and then maybe here uh, and some more inputs and then maybe require some input here and so on all right um so we can express the relationship between the output and the states is like in this regard y which is the output equals to the states let's call the state as q this is q1 for example this is q0 so output equals to states in which the state equals is the function of the inputs x and also the state itself so how to differentiate between the state on the right hand side of the equation and the state on the left hand side so clearly q on the left hand side is the uh, corresponds to the next value so normally we put the symbol superscript plus and sometimes subscript plus uh, which indicates something like um, k plus one and this is k but uh, in short we normally just write the uh, sorry superscript plus that indicates this is the future value or the next state okay in some cases um the state is not uh totally equals with the output let me um duplicate this um uh, sorry maybe I redo this one more time it's better to copy and then scroll down and paste it somewhere here another version of the sequential logic is um, before the states goes to output it has some combinational logic like uh, some OR gates maybe or maybe AND gates in this regard this is just an example it can be different so output can be somewhere here okay so in this case we don't write the output equals to states but the output instead the output is the uh, function of the states in which the states is the function of the input and the state itself okay another version that we can um, have in the sequential logic is like I think I need to copy this one more time um, and paste it down here okay another version that we can have is like um, the input one of the input or some of the input can be directly um, connected to the gates that produce the outputs okay so in this regard we instead of 
the output is the function of the states only it becomes the output is the function of the inputs and the states in which the state the next state is the function of the input and the present states so in addition uh, this kind of system is called the uh, this kind of system in which the output is the function of the states is called the more machines and for this kind of system in which the uh, output is the function of the input and also present state this kind of system is referred as the uh, milli machines so hopefully we can uh, see more detail on these two type of machines in the next video